Alright, so I think I will know how I'm going to cut this stuff without punching holes first. Because I feel like doing it that way is going to be a lot more work to temporarily stitch together and then cut stuff off and it just feels like it's going to be a little much. So, and I have the general idea of how it's, I want it to look. So, what I'm going to do is, or what I've done, is I went about three quarters of an inch around the mold or the, the, uh, the outline of the gun that I did. And I'll just show you that real quick. So, this line here and here and here and this was the original drawing of the gun and I now that I've been playing with it I went ahead and traced a new line and again for anyone who's uh, concerned that there's all these lines all over it this holster is actually going to be black inside and out so it's not a big deal um, so now this is where the guns actually going to sit so I took my little trusty dusty ruler here and I came about three quarters of an inch out for my stitch line and then I have where I'm going to throw a rivet for a tie because it is going to hang a little low. And what I'm working on right now is I'm coming about another half inch out, which is my widest point here. And I'm, this is going to be my cut line. So I'm going to do that real quick just so I can show you all what I did. Um, and, uh, and hopefully it's going to work out. Um, again, I... I loved it, would love to try and plan everything out perfectly, but unfortunately, wraparound holsters are pretty difficult for me. So um, I just don't have the know-how. But uh, we're gonna figure it out. This is this is this is what I like. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure this out. So I'm gonna sit you down, and I'm gonna start tracing, and uh, and I'm gonna draw my a half inch line, and. Uh, and I'm going to show you that's that's where I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut from the inside, and I'm going to flip the gun over and see if I can get it to match up perfectly on the other side. Um, we're probably going to need some uh, some nice little finger work here, and uh, I'm, I'm going to have to finagle it. And but that's again part of the appeal of my holsters is I'm doing all this by hand. I'm on I think day three, probably hour six of this already. So I'm going to sit you down before I get too out of hand. And uh, again, I'm just we're taking my ruler. I'm gonna slide this over so I'm not totally in the view of the camera. And I'm coming around my stitch line, and I you said I wanted about a half an inch from the uh, stitch line. So. Just gonna come around to some various little parts. Catch one in this corner. I'm just gonna come back real quick, make sure I'm still right in what I was thinking. Yes. Okay. So again, all I did was make a, a few little marks that I'm gonna trace a line around. Because again, this holster doesn't need to be perfectly snug. Um, it's gonna have snap retention on it. It's really not really a quick draw holster, but it's uh, with with the snap on it doesn't have to be super tight. So. Um, it's, it's going to have some play in it. I may end up moving that stitch line in to half an inch, but um, a couple of the videos I watched on leather taco style holsters was uh, they were all done on semi-autos, whereas a revolver's got, you know, a nice big hefty cylinder in the middle. So I really want to make sure I have enough space for that. And again, being that it doesn't have to be super tight and, uh, you know, right up on the edge, I don't want to fall into a trick bag where I've been on a couple of holsters where my stitches were too close to the gun then the gun has trouble getting in and out and stitches pop and it's not worth it so uh, I'm gonna give myself plenty of room like I've been doing so I'm gonna trace this out 
and then uh, I'm probably going to come back and show y'all again uh, what it's going to look like when I do the next line on the other side. So, stay tuned.